Um, it's not really that new. When we were younger, uh, some of the farmers were doing it. A lot of us wanted to go back to the earth, you know, so we developed the style for ourselves. But we've seen it grow over the years. There was a gap in there, and then here comes this new generation, Generation X, Generation Y, and they're very responsive. They have children already. They're not going to bring home pesticides if they're children. They're very smart. They shop at some of the health food stores. Why would they go home with pesticides and some organic food? So these kids really know what they're doing. And uh, what they're doing is leading the way. There are many of them in groups, small farms, co-ops, um, community gardens. They're all learning from each other. And as they learn, they practice these things at home. They have some beautiful gardens, a tremendous amount of produce that they feel is safe and is fresh because they grew it in their yard. And there are many things besides organics that have these people out there gardening. Fresh food, locally grown, and grown organically. You know, if I had to pick one of the many garden settings that we have here, um, I think the vegetable garden is the one. Vegetable gardening is very popular. People are growing produce at home. They're concerned a little bit about, well, what if I run out of food for a few days? Well, I've got it in the backyard there. And so um, I think our vegetable garden is the one that has the most influence on people. It was our first garden anyway. So there are classes out there. 300 showed up at the last one. Uh, that's a lot. I was expecting 50, 60 people, and here come 300. And that's an indicator of the interest in growing vegetables at home. So of the different things that we have here for landscaping, for herb gardens, for just about anything, the vegetable garden is the most important. And they come down here in large numbers to get their vegetables right on time, get a little bit of soil, and get home and get that garden underway. Education isn't just a vegetable garden. Indoors, we have a couple of microscopes. And if you come in with a little baggie with some problem insects in there, you stand in line, usually two or three people are there with the same kind of questions. You give it to the, fro the folks that are up there, and um, usually horticulturists, we have two microscopes. We will put whatever they brought in under the microscope and show it on a screen. And what we're going to show you is aphids being consumed, red spider being eradicated. Many insects are managed by beneficial insects, but you never see them. You don't know what to look for. And so once you look into the microscope and see what's going on, you change.